Hi everybody, it's Sick Creek here and uh, today I'm just doing a quick video on my first impressions of the Type 6 transporter. I've just had the ship for a few months now, I haven't really been playing too much Elite Dangerous, but basically I bought it after my Cobra and just been using it to do a bit of uh, trading and trading missions, even a little bit of smuggling as well, um, just to get me a bit of credits going while I save up money for my next ship, which will probably be the ASP. Uh, so anyway, I'm just in the middle of doing a uh, quick trading mission here. Um, at the moment, I've, I've gone away from using the trade route app and have moved to just doing trading missions because they get you a lot more reputation with your um, the factions that you do them in so at the moment I'm doing it in the Imperial space so my reputation with the Empire is going up quite quickly and uh, it also increases your rank in terms of your trading rank a lot quicker than you would um, just by doing normal like trading, finding trade routes and stuff. So as you can see I am a merchant at the moment um, and the higher trade rank I get the better access I get to basically better um, better trading missions at different stations so at the end of the day I won't even need to do any trade routes or trade route searching anymore. I'll just uh, be doing like trading missions, which is quite easy, and uh, will be able to net me a decent profit at the end of the day. But uh, anyway, it's just what I've been doing a little bit really dangerous. Um, in terms of how this ship goes, it's actually pretty decent. It can hold about 100 to 100 and so I think. 15, 16 tons of cargo depending how you would load it out and with the fully upgraded frame shift drive it can jump about 18 to 22 light years depending, exactly, depending how you load it out again and how full the cargo bay is so you can get a pretty decent uh, range out of one tank and get some pretty cool trade routes going at the end of the day this is pretty much what the ship is designed for trading and that is all um, I have in the past done a bit of smuggling with this ship but I found it's kind of hard because it's quite bulky and hard to maneuver in and out of stations and stuff like that and um, yeah it's got a huge capacity cargo capacity which makes it kind of like not really feasible for doing smuggling you kind of want like a light and nimble ship to do smuggling uh, like the Cobra or even like the Imperial Clipper, anything that's like really fast and maneuverable. Anyway, so we're going to Fairmount Station now for this trade mission that I'm doing. And uh, I'll show you what else I've added to my Type 6 when we get there. Um, I also do have equipped to my Type 6 a uh, electronic, not electronic countermeasures, a shield booster just in case I get attacked by pirates. It gives me a bit more shield health while I try to run away from them. And I've also got a chaff launcher and heat sink launcher just in case I do decide to pick up some uh, some smuggling missions every now and then. It's quite helpful um, just to have your ship fully equipped for smuggling just in case you decide to do a bit of that on the side. Also sometimes while running trading missions, there's not always trading missions available at every station I go to, so picking up a smuggling mission might be a backup option, just so I'm continuously making money per trip. But at the moment I've got about 8 million credits nearly, just shy of 8 million credits, about a million more and I'll be able to go buy my ASP, which will be my next ship that I'll be just having a quick talk about. Um, yeah, no, the uh, Type 6 is pretty much just a workhorse, like it is designed to grind you credits. That's about it, there's nothing really special about it. But, as you can see, I have uh, equipped a auto, or standard docking computer to this ship. Um, 
because when you're doing lots of trading runs you're always going in and out of stations and it gets very boring and tedious after a while so having the docking computer is quite helpful it just like sort of breaks the monotony a bit gives you a chance to like get up and have a drink while it's docking or something like that um, and it's actually quite good it's never really stuffed up on me at all unless you like go really really fast um, really close to a station doesn't have enough time to slow down or kind of stuff up so just make sure you slow down well before you get to the station and it should be all good one other thing that you should know is if I've tried um, using the standing dock docking computer to like get me into a station while I was smuggling goods and it will not let you use a heat sink launcher or chaff launcher while it's doing its thing so uh, do not use this for smuggling because whenever you have to use your heat sink or chaff or whatever um, yeah it won't work and you'll end up overheating your ship or getting scanned or something like that so as you can see it did a very good job so now just going to enter the hangar and end in my mission it was a very close jump I just did this because there was anything available at my station see what else is available here once I'm done. One thing I must say about doing the um, transport missions is you might sometimes want to check see these are both in the in the same uh, system so I'm going to take both of these missions. You might want to check how close the stations are to the jump star because it's not like the uh, website that I showed you in my previous video where you can manually filter how far away the stations are from the arrival point you have to kind of just do a bit of research beforehand with these missions but uh, anyway yeah type 6 very good workhorse of a ship um, it's quite large as you can see that's my little pilot sitting in his little chair it does have quite a good view though you have like a pretty much a 360 view from the cockpit and uh, there's a little the docking hatch, whatever you want to call it, cargo hatch thingy there, stairs. But yeah, it's pretty much just like a giant bus thing. It is a medium-sized ship as well, so you can still land it at outposts. Just if it is quite a populated outpost, be prepared to wait a decent amount of time for a landing pad to be available because you won't be able to dock straight away as most outposts I think only have like one or two uh, medium pads but if you do end up getting stuck just quickly log out switch to solo play log in dock and you should be fine um, but apart from that yeah it is a really big workhorse it is not too slow uh, but it isn't that fast either I think it's only got like a top speed of 280 and a boost speed of 320 meters per second so it's a hell of a lot slower than my last ship, which was the Cobra. But uh, anyway, I'll probably make a more in-depth video of the Asp Explorer when I get it, simply because it is quite a nice ship and a very, very good multi-role, multi-capability sort of ship. Um, so I'll definitely be having a lot of fun doing stuff in the Asp. It's also got several hard points on it, so I can even do a bit of bounty hunting or assassin missions if I want. Uh, but anyway, that was just my quick opinions and updates on the uh, Type 6 Transporter for Elite Dangerous. Um, in the future, I'll probably be doing a few different videos on uh, maybe some smuggling runs. Basically, because the Asp Explorer is a whole multi-role ship, like a true multi-role ship, it's probably a lot better than the Cobra in terms of how many different things you can do with it. Um, I'll probably do a few different types of videos with the ASP just basically doing everything from uh, smuggling to trading to bounty hunting maybe even a bit of exploring though that is kind of uh, not really what I want to try I don't, I'm not really too keen on it but I might do a video just to see what it's like anyway anyway thanks for watching my video um, be sure to leave a comment if you have any suggestions or anything else you want to see um, there aren't too many like tutorials or like really good tutorials on Elite Dangerous at the moment but um, yeah whatever you guys want to see just like make a comment and I'll do my best to make my own tutorial or video about whatever you guys want to see in Elite Dangerous. Anyway thank you very much I'll catch you guys later.